Council to Egberi Community, Monde Osegale, alleged that there is a systematic annihilation of Egberi Community from existence by a Horomi community. What we have there to tell the whole world is complete annihilation of every community. Land grabbing and misrepresentation of material parts by a Horomi community. Varisel Segale said there is also fundamental misinterpretation and fraud in the enrollment order of judgment of the court. Did the Ahoribi community execute the so-called judgment with a writ of possession or warrant of execution? The answer is no. However, without warrant of possession, the executive judgment wherein their whole case was struck out for being incompetent. They do not even have judgment at all for execute. Now they are using the fraudulent and rule of judgment for execute judgment. A video clip of the original judgment in 2017 by the Oba of Bini, L.Y.D. II, was shown when he told both parties to maintain existing boundaries. But the palace decision was allegedly flouted by a Horomi community at the point of execution of demarcation of the boundaries. He appealed to relevant authorities to look into land grabbing by a Horomi community. As you know, without considering that all our judgment is found, which although we are contesting now at the appellate court that the enforcement of that judgment was characterized by fraud. More than half of every community land was now ceded to uh, a community community. The question now is, does that constitute a city boundary? The answer is no. All attempts by every community to reach the number of the to report the perfection in the execution of the judgment was frustrated. When contacted for his reaction, counsel to a Horomi community, Barista Wadiai Igbenigi, declined comment on the allegations raised by the Council of Egberi Community. Independent television and radio intends to get the reaction of the Council to a Horomi community and elders of the community on the allegations leveled against a Horomi by Egberi community as soon as they are ready to grant interview. Deborah Ogbefun reporting.